This is by far one of the best ways to get XP in Combat Master. Now this is an updated version from my last video since I figured out new stuff that can actually help you and get more XP. Alright so before you get into a custom game there is a couple things that you need to do. So first one is going into the guns, click mods, and you need to look for attachments that say increase sprint speed. That's the most important part, right? Because you're going to be running around and you're going to be wanting to get the most XP you can get in the match. So for example, over here, you can see it says 4% increased speed. And if you keep looking around, you're going to find some, but they're probably going to be less. So let's go for the highest increased spend percentage. So for the muzzle, it was the lightweight suppressor on the MP5. Same thing for the barrel. It was 6% increase sprint speed. Um, you can do anything to be honest like this is four percent increased speed if you want but this is faster of course and then for the optic it doesn't really matter for the stock though this is the most important one it gives you a 25 percent increased speed so just keep keep looking through your attachments and just keep looking for increased speeds and for me the sling end cap on mp5 give me a 25 percent increased speed which is nuts it makes you run like crazy bro gonna be running way faster for the ammunitions um there's actually some that give you faster movement so just look around them you know check which ones and for me it was the light 15 round mag i don't use the gun i'll explain later and for the grip i just used the stippled grip on the mp5 and that's it that's the loadout that i'm using to grind xp fast this is like one of the best ways and fastest ways to grind xp on mp5 right now so you go into a custom game and actually you do the same thing in the last video but do deathmatch and we, we click on hanger now i'm not doing powerhouse anymore because i feel like it's just not really that good and i feel like hanger is way better you click on 50 13 minutes and you make bots difficulty one and then you can start the match and right after that guys you can just literally run around you see how fast i'm running here and just bash but this is the old way the new way is to jump to slide jump and then see like that see see you just slide jump and bash with the weapon so 275 xp right there and okay i missed but you get the point you just slide jump and then bash with the weapon that's the most and best way to get xp right now it gives you it should give you 2015 right there give me 2015 and you're gonna get sometimes one to 90 which is not bad if you 315 that was because of revenge okay let me just get away from this guy slide jump boom 175 that's because i missed but it doesn't matter you still if you're consistent with it and you keep getting 215 you're gonna be so good it, this is going to be way better. Um, 265 right there. 200. It's... it's see, 215 again. So you just slide jump and bash. And silly. I missed. That's alright. There we go. It was that easy. And you just keep doing this over and over. I just want all the katanas. So it's definitely working. It's definitely the best way. Also, I forgot to mention. Make sure to have double weapon XP on and if you want to level up your rank xp i guess and your battle pass as well so this is gonna get definitely help you a lot it's gonna help you get through the guns levels as you know guys some guns have 68 le like 78 levels or 80 levels which is insane um they require a lot of xp so this is definitely like i don't know corner and how I like to grind them please don't go into public matches you're just gonna be wasting your time as you keep seeing here, I literally keep getting 215. And by the end of the game, I'm probably gonna get like around I would say 30 to 40k because I literally forgot to get my double weapon XP token on. So I won't have double weapon XP, but you get my point. If I'm probably I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'm gonna get around 37 to 40k XP, which is really not bad. Also, going on streaks actually help. So try not to die that much. Like try at least getting a 20, um, a 20 like kill before you die, maybe. But if you die, it's alright. I mean, you literally you're running around and boss have inbound stuff. So yeah, it's alright. Also, I feel like the best way to actually kill people fast, just keep running around this thing in the middle container here, and if you see people just. So I jump, bash them, and it, I feel like it's way faster because when bots spawn, they actually all come to the middle. Sometimes they'll go to the edge, but 99% of the time they'll just go to the middle right there. And 
yeah, you could just returning around and you're gonna keep finding them easily. And please don't be stressed if, they, if a bot has like a max end, just don't worry about it, it's right if you don't get to him. Uh, it's annoying, definitely, but yeah, you just gotta keep going, man. As you see here, I got a double kill, literally got 455 XP, which is absolutely insane. But there are 275, usually it's gonna be 215, but just because I'm, I'm almost dead. Gives you a little bit more XP. So if you think you're if you're if you're getting shot and you're really low on HP, if you kill someone, it's gonna give you like a boost, uh, like I think 50 XP or something like that. So it definitely helps a lot. But I just see, you can see you're gonna range from like sometimes 190, getting 990, to getting like 215, 210. So it's already right if you get 215, at least if you get to 190 every single time, you can be chilling as well. So yeah, you just gotta like. Crouch, slide, dash, that fast. See, I got 190, that's alright. 215 right there. Boom. 215. Now, you're probably not gonna get first attempt, like, you're not gonna get, like, 40k XP or whatever. You're probably gonna get not that much. Uh, but it's it's fine, you can just run again. With more practice, you're literally gonna get way more. Um, as you learn the boss spawns and everything, and you just get control of not missing. This is my first game in a while, so... Um, I've been just focusing on doing other stuff, so yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, but it's alright, it's alright, we still, we still got it, we still got it. So I think right now I have like around 30k or 30 something k, which is already way better um, than last video's method, because I'm pretty sure I ended with like 27k and I got like 40 something, it wasn't really the best, as you can see it's really not that hard, it's just it's possibly having some insane aim sometimes, you know, um, and the tip, if, if you see a bot, Aiming at you, just hide behind something for like a second, and you're gonna be chilling. So you're gonna like focus on another one. All right, so let's see how much I got. So I leveled up, cool. So I got around thirty-six thousand. So if you multiply that by two, so if you multiply that by two, that's around seventy-two thousand XP, which is already insane. Getting just seventy-two thousand is nuts. So as you can see here, it's I don't have my double weapon XP. Um, on so it doesn't count right now, but it's only gonna count 36k. Just make sure to please, please, please to have your your weapon XP tokens have, like activated or whatever. And as you can see here, I don't have mine activated. I forgot to activate it, but still, that's really a lot. On the scoreboard, it's gonna be glitchy and not tell you the kills, like the all the kills you get. But that's that's it, man. That's all you gotta do. And yeah, I just want to thank you so much for the support on the channel the, this past month, man. It's it's absolutely insane. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.